guys welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is Amanda so today's what's for dinner video has a couple of really yummy crock pot recipes I'm also going to be making some really delicious white chocolate macadamia nut blondies they are so good and I've also got a really fun nut stop haul for you so make sure to stay tuned for that if you're new to my channel I do all kinds of recipes what's for dinners it's really all about the food here so I'd love it if you'd hit that subscribe button and join my YouTube family and of course make sure to turn on that notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. Give me a thumbs up if you're excited to get into these recipes, but let's go ahead and get into the video. So let's get started with our crock pot cube steak and gravy. And y'all, this recipe is just a dump and go recipe, so simple. And we've got our cube steak in there, some diced up onion, and then we're gonna also add in a couple of cans of cream and mushroom soup. I've been using that unsalted Campbell's kind. I'm so glad they came out with that, that's so awesome. And then we're going to also add in some brown gravy mix. Of course, you can add in some salt and pepper. I didn't add additional salt. I think I actually forgot to add pepper. But you can always add pepper when you eat it too. So, uh, And then we're going to do two-thirds a cup of water. Now, if you want to, you can do all that mixed in a separate bowl and then pour it on top. Me personally, like when I'm doing a crock pot meal, especially if I can save on dishes, I'm going to do that. So I didn't really see the you know necessity in doing that. But if you do it like I'm doing it and just put it on top, then I would make sure to stir it, you know, if you can. So if you're not going to be home, um, maybe, you know, maybe do it in a separate bowl or, or stir it up in the crock pot beforehand or something. Now we're also working on some mashed potatoes and some green beans and corn. I feel like those are like our standard go-to comfort food vegetables because this really is like a comfort food meal. And I just add some butter and some half and half. That half and half seems to make them so creamy and I feel like they even reheat better. And of course you can put any salt, pepper, anything else you want in there. And then here are our cube steaks done. I had not cooked cube steaks in like forever, but these were on sale. And so I thought, you know what, I'm gonna try this out and see how this works. Cause I actually don't, I've never cooked them in the crock pot either. So you now you can cook this on low for six to eight hours or on high for probably about four to six. A lot of times I always at least start mine out on high, but it just kind of depends on when I need it done on what I do. But um, I think you could do either one on this. I think I did on high and I may have went a little over four hours for on high, but um, but here it is, y'all. This was so good, so easy. You can't hardly beat it. So definitely recommend this recipe. So now we're gonna get started on our crock pot taco soup. And I've actually never made like taco soup. So I wasn't sure. Um, it seems like a lot of the ingredients are very similar to like chili. And so that kind of is a little reminiscent of chili, but it's a little different too because of the seasonings that go into it. But I'm just dicing up my onions here. And of course you could definitely make any changes to this. Leave out what you don't like. Maybe put extra or add something that you do, you know, want to add in there. So to my crock pot, I'm just adding my already cooked uh, ground beef that I store in my freezer. So it's frozen. It'll you know thaw out as it cooks so that's fine we're adding in our onion we're going to add in some pinto kidney and black beans as well as some corn diced tomatoes I actually used two cans of diced tomatoes uh, one can of diced green chilies and it called for a diced jalapeno and i didn't have any so i left that out but we did kind of like top it with like the pickled jalapenos at the end and you're also going to add in a packet of taco seasoning and a packet of ranch dressing mix. I just used my homemade ranch dressing mix. And so that worked out just fine. Now, some of my canned items I did drain, others I didn't. So I'll include those in the notes part um, in the description box. So keep an eye out for that. And I have to tell y'all, I was kind of sweating this because it looks really thick. And I was like, should I add some liquid? Should I not? I didn't really know what to do, you know, and um, I thought, you know, I'll let it go for a little while and let's see what happens, you know, and this actually was perfect for us. Now, um, you'll see here in a minute when it's done, but like if you like really soupy soup, then you might want to add a little liquid. I still wouldn't add much, you know, uh, because especially left over, it does, you know, thicken up. I feel like a little, but y'all, this was really, really good. We served it with some avocado, some tortilla strips cheese, sour cream, jalapenos, all the good stuff. And this was so yummy. So definitely recommend this one too. Now next up, we're gonna be making white chocolate and macadamia nut blondies. Y'all, these were so good and so easy. I'm using my Nut Stop macadamia nuts. Uh, stay tuned for that haul. I'll show you all the goodies I got from Nut Stop because I really enjoy their products. They're so yummy. Um, I'm just using my Pampered Chef Food Chopper just to slightly chop the macadamia nuts. I've got some flour, baking soda, and baking powder that I'm mixing together in that bowl. And I have in the past made this all in one bowl, so I think you could do that fine too. 
but I did go ahead and do it separate this time. And in this bowl, I've got some butter that's softened as well as some brown sugar. We're going to add in an egg here in just a minute. And I will say that I forgot to add in the vanilla. So I'm bad about that sometimes with baked goods, but I feel like it doesn't always make a huge difference. These were still delicious. So if you don't have any vanilla, don't feel bad because they're still going to be yummy even if you don't. And so go ahead and get all that mixed together. And once that's mixed well, we're going to go ahead and add in our dry ingredients. You're just going to incorporate those, you know, until they're blended well. And then we're going to stir in our nuts and our chocolate chips. Um, so I'm going to be using, of course, white chocolate chips. And then I'm going to be using the macadamia nuts. You could mix this up and use, you know, uh, actually the way I usually make this recipe is with walnuts and mini chocolate chips. So you could do whatever kind of nuts, whatever kind of chips you want. This is a really flexible recipe to change up like that and make all kinds of different flavors. And I've made this for years, so I really like it a lot. Now I did eyeball my chocolate chips. I didn't want quite as many as the recipe called for, but um, I thought I'd kind of hold back a little bit. I feel like white chocolate can be really, really sweet sometimes. So I did hold back a little on those, but obviously use as many as you like. And then once we get that combined, we're going to go ahead and put that in our 8x8, or actually this may be a 9x9 pan. But just smooth that out the best you can. And this is going to bake at 350 degrees for about 25 to 35 minutes. It's really going to depend on your onion, your onion, <laughs> your oven. <laughs> and just check it at, you know, maybe 20 minutes, see how it's doing, you know, kind of keep going. I like to make sure I check it more often so that, you know, I don't overdo it. Now, this um, is so much nicer if you do line your, you know, baking dish with parchment paper because you can just lift it up, but it's completely fine if you don't want to use that too and just, you know, cut them out of the, the baking dish too. So whatever works best for you, but I am really liking the um, parchment paper trick for sure. This was such a yummy and easy recipe. Of course, I have all the recipes linked in the description box below. Also, don't forget to stay tuned for the Nut Stop Haul. I'm going to have a discount code for you. You have got to try their chocolate covered cherries. They are so amazing. So guys, I hope you enjoyed those recipes. Our family really did. I've got this fun Nut Stop Haul for y'all. I'm telling you one thing. I've really enjoyed these Nut Stop goodies. So a big thank you to Nut Stop for sending us these. Uh, this is not like a sponsored video. They just sent me the products to share with y'all and for us to try out. And so I'm glad to share our opinion, you know, with y'all. And they are so good. Like everything we've tried, we've really enjoyed. My absolute favorite, and this is probably going to be like the third time you hear this in this video, is the chocolate covered cherries. I'll uh, specifically like the milk chocolate covered cherries. And I'll make sure to link um, the discount code they gave me down in the description box. So make sure you take advantage of that. And also some of our favorites so that you can look at those. But let's go ahead and get into this haul. So here are all my nut stop goodies. We'll go through each one of them. I'll show you what all I got. Uh, this here. These are dark chocolate cherries, which y'all, I tried the milk chocolate last time, which this is the milk chocolate cherries. Um, they are addictive. So if you, it's like my very top recommendation. So if you don't, you know, pick anything else, if you like dried cherries, these are just dried cherries covered in, this is regular chocolate, milk chocolate, and then this is dark chocolate. I haven't tried these yet, so I'm excited to try those because these are completely addicted or addictive. Uh, so we've got those cherries. Then we've also got uh, mini peanut butter cups, and I got these before too. These are really fun to add to like baked goods and everything, so I love using those. And then my kids absolutely love the chocolate covered pretzels. They're so yummy too. Um, you always like the salty and the sweet. And I apologize if you hear Mila tapping her feet on the kitchen floor there, but she's kind of coming in here as I'm doing this. Um, and then these are the, I think they're called strawberry, yeah, strawberry bonbons. Um, my youngest absolutely loves these. And so I got those for him. And then this I think is chocolate covered, yeah, chocolate, milk chocolate peanuts. Um, so I'm thinking they're probably something like goobers. That's like one of my husband's like favorite like candy snacks or whatever. And so I thought these would be really good to try those. And then gummy butterflies. Uh, my kids like these a lot. And also when we used to like go to, uh, anytime we've been to Pigeon Forge or anything like that, they sell the gummy butterflies there at the, I guess the old Smoky Candy Kitchen that's called. And so they were really excited to see that Nut Stop carried those too. And this is Australian licorice. You can't really see it too good through there. But my son really loves these. So 
he's excited to get another bag of the licorice. And I got some like kind of different like nuts. I've got some pecan pieces here. Uh, my husband likes to use these on different things and then we've used them in different recipes and stuff. So that's really handy. Um, so I'm excited to try theirs. We really like pecans anyway. And I've actually never really um, used macadamia nuts, but this is just the roasted macadamia nut salted. And I want to try to find maybe a recipe for these. I was thinking about even some like macadamia nut cookies would be fun. So I'm really excited to explore stuff with that. And I've got, let's see, this is organic hemp seeds. And so I've got those to try out as well. And my daughter had been wanting to try chia seeds. So we've got some of those as well. This is just the organic chia seeds. And I want to try to make some like homemade pesto. So I thought the pine nuts would be really good for that. So this is just raw pine nuts. So I'm excited to try to see about making some homemade pesto. And then this is, let's see, Crouching Tiger Mix. So this one just has like a mixture of all kinds of stuff in there. My daughter really liked um, the last mix we got. I can't remember which one it was, but she really liked it a lot. So we're excited to try this one too. But yeah, so these are my nut stop goodies. I'm so appreciative of them like reaching out to me initially and I'm excited to get some more and try some new things and get some favorites. I'll definitely have those favorites linked down below too so that you can find those. But like I said, my absolute favorite has been these cherries. Like I'm excited to try the dark chocolate, but the milk chocolate were so very good. And you feel like it's a little healthier since it's, you know, you know, dried fruit in there instead of like just, um, you know, other things, but it's still not the, you know, a health fitness, or I guess, but definitely very tasty. So, um, but yeah, I'll have a discount code, you know, linked in the description box as well. And that way I've got that too. But yeah, so here's my little haul. Thank y'all so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed these recipes and my haul. Definitely give me a thumbs up if you did. I'd appreciate that. Thank y'all so much as always for your support. I love reading your comments down below, so make sure you leave me a comment. I hope you have a blessed day wherever you are, and I'll see you in the next one.